To up late everyone, I'm Ron Jones. And I'm Faith Abubit. We've got a lot going on tonight, including a Metro mayor under fire. <laughs> The mayor of Houston leaving out the side door, avoiding reporters and cameras. And tonight, the first public meeting since she allegedly made racially charged comments about a city job candidate. And we got a lot to unpack here tonight. 11 Alive obtained an email where the city council member, one of the city council members, reportedly wrote that she heard the mayor, Teresa Kennerly, saying the city was not ready for a black candidate. Now that candidate is planning on filing a lawsuit. But on top of all that drama, folks, a city council member is accused of saying he does not support marriage between blacks and whites because it goes against his Christian faith. Well, 11 Alive's Hope Ford was there as both appeared in front of a crowd tonight for a work session. So Hope, do they say anything about the controversy? Yeah, both dodged the cameras coming in and the city attorney made it clear from the beginning. Neither one would discuss anything regarding possible or pending litigation, but that didn't stop several speakers from letting the two know what some of the city expects from them. This applause isn't a signifier of a good time. Rather, it's support for those calling for two city leaders to resign. Houston Councilman Jim Cleveland and Mayor Teresa Kearnley arrived avoiding the media and a smiling Kearnley started the work session. The meeting proceeded as normal until it was time for public comment. In your position elected. It is absolutely wrong. Cleveland sat stone faced as some called him a racist. You are disgusting. And currently listened intently, even smiling at times when people asked for a resignation. Shanton Anton was one of them. He moved to Houston at first scared his family wouldn't be safe, but was quickly welcomed and says he's yet to experience racism. I've never had an issue here. My kids and my family, we haven't had an issue here, so I don't, you know, I don't know where it's coming from. Another speaker drawing attention, the former mayor of Houston, Irma Allen Denny. Denny blamed Kearnley's poor leadership for the remarks and the reason the city is now nationally known. This, they don't speak for Houston. They don't represent us. Mm -hmm. This is not who we are and this is not what, what the, we want the world to think we are. Following the meeting, Kearnley and Cleveland left out a side door, never addressing the issue or the calls to resign. Now, two interesting things to note. There's no board of ethics in the small city of 1500 people and some citizens I spoke with want one established. Also, some mentioned that if the two won't resign, they'll try to have them recalled. That'll take 30% of voters signing a petition to trigger a recall election. Well,